and welcome to Tech 24. I'm Annelise Borges. Coming up, a new way of tackling crime before it is even committed. The British police is testing the groundbreaking system of predictive policing. And in Test 24, we check out Knack, the first game announced for the recently revealed PlayStation 4. But before we get to those stories, this week Barcelona is playing host to the world's largest exhibition for the mobile industry. 70,000 people are expected to attend the Mobile World Congress 2013. Among them, mobile operators, device manufacturers, technology providers, vendors and content owners, as well as visitors from across the world. And with the mobile industry in mind, here it is, the figure of the week. Worldwide mobile phone sales fell 1.7% in 2012, with 1.75 billion devices sold last year. In addition to the current economic climate, these poor figures are mainly due to lower feature phone sales that the explosion of smartphone sales has failed to compensate. The worldwide mobile phone market is expected to rebound this year. The rise of smartphones is predicted to contribute to a near doubling of mobile sales in 2013. One in three mobile phones bought this year will be built for mobile web. Moving on now. A predictive tool to prevent crime is being tested by the British police. Predictive policing was first implemented by the Los Angeles Police Department in 2012 and helped reduce crime rates in parts of the U.S. by up to 17%. The system uses data of previous crimes and human behavior analysis to predict where crimes are most likely to occur. When Sergeant Martin Smith leaves the station to go on patrol, he's not just choosing his beat at random. His destination is an area selected by a computer programme. What he's saying is that's your best chance of preventing something from happening. What the sergeant and his colleagues are trying to achieve is a policing dream to arrive on the scene before a crime has been committed. Officers in Kent in South East England are the first in Europe to use this system of predictive policing. It's not quite Minority Report, but there are parallels with Tom Cruise's futuristic police unit that was able to predict crimes and stop them from happening. Using the PredPol software, officers can identify areas where crime is more likely to happen and increase their presence there as a result. Each box represents a 500-foot square area that the algorithm is telling us is an important part of the area to police. In the last 180 days, you've had a burglary, three vehicle crimes, four violent crimes and four criminal damages. The boxes are all lettered, so from A to Z. So A, B, C, D, etc. are the most high priority. Developed by two mathematicians, an anthropologist and a criminologist, PredPol is already being used in the United States. The software uses crime statistics, but also information about the neighbourhood itself. It's the real demographics of the area, so all the people, the places, what kind of buildings they are. Taller buildings might mean there's more crime or less. It, it, it takes into account everything. The software won't replace traditional policing, with contacts providing important information that helps to prevent crime. Officers in Kent used such methods to help thwart a diamond heist at London's Millennium Dome in 2000. A gang tried to steal 400 million euros worth of diamonds by using a digger to break through the fence, then setting off smoke bombs in the vault. But the police had been tipped off about the raid and officers were waiting for them. PredPol wouldn't have changed that operation, but it can help to manage their workload. It will identify a location where we are able to prevent crime from happening. By preventing crime, that naturally reduces our demand and therefore enables us to be more and more visible and more proactive in our policing. In places where PredPol's Hello, used, there's been a noticeable reduction in reported crime. It has also allowed for better deployment of limited police resources. Now, Mark Edwards is with me in the studio. Mark, it's not like we're discussing pre-crime and minority report. There's no, uh, there's no science fiction involved in predictive policing. It's pure mathematics. Can you explain us how the system was developed? So, yes, yeah, so as you're saying, they're using advanced mathematics, um, human behavioural analysis, as the chap said uh, in, in the package we just saw, and also historical crime data, and combining all of that and making decisions based on that. So uh, I've, we looked at an example also in Birmingham, where 30% uh, of the 8,000 burglaries that happened in 2011 were actually repeat burglaries. So 
you know, it's common sense in a way, but if you're burgled once, you're more likely to be burgled again within the same week. And the houses in on the same streets are also likely to be burgled. So therefore they're using that information and doing the standard policing but using all of the big data at the same time as well. All right, thanks for that. Mark, we'll move on now because it's time for Test 24. Knack, a platforming game developed by Japan Studios, Sony's internal development team, is the first game announced for the recently revealed PlayStation 4. And speaking of PlayStation 4, Sony did everything at a launch event last week, but to unveil the thing itself. Mark, let's start with this event. Um, a two-hour presentation, several speakers on stage, but we have no idea of what the PlayStation looks like, how much it will cost, or when it will be available for purchase. Is there a method to the madness? <laughs> And to be honest, at least, I've got to give a huge round of applause firstly to Sony for getting all of this hype, the world's media all there, and effectively not having a product to show. That is a, it's an incredible feat in itself. Now, what we do know is uh, we have no idea of the price, you said it, or the release date. It should be out by Christmas. That's the key time to really be rele uh, releasing this sort, of, uh, this, this sort of thing. But at the, at the end of the day, they're going to be saving uh, most of what's going to be coming out for the E3 in June in LA. And as Shuhei Yoshida, who is the studio president, said, they don't actually know themselves what the console is going to look like quite yet. So, you know, I think it's an iterative uh, system where they will try and build on, uh, on things and we'll hear more about it in June, I think. And what about NAC? Will it be a defining reason to shift to PlayStation 4? I mean, it looks beautiful. You've probably seen some of this trailer in the background. It look, it's an absolutely beautiful game. Uh, bit of a surprise to that to be the first thing they show at, um, at the conference, simply because the conference was full of hardcore gamers, if you will. And uh, that's not the kind of thing where you want a kind of cutesy, science fiction-y game. But, again, it's appealing to the mass audiences. It's almost like a, a hybrid of uh, a, a beautiful video game, but also a kind of Sony Pix uh, Pixar animated movie. And so we've got a bit of a crossover between the two. What I do like, and they've announced this, is that you'll be able to stream yourself playing to your friends live online. And if you get stuck at any point, your buddy over in LA or in India or in China will be able to pick up from his PlayStation 4 and complete the level for you and I think that's quite an interesting aspect I could of the use game. that kind of help <laughs> I'm sure thanks for that Mark and thank you for watching this edition of Tech 24 don't forget you can give us your feedback on the show via Facebook or on Twitter and we leave you today with images of Google Glass Explorers Google has once again opened up pre-orders of their glasses with a limited stock of 8,000 units to be eligible for a pair, you have to send Google a message via Google Plus or Twitter saying okay, what you would do with your glasses in 50 words or less. You can include photos or a short video. If chosen, you get a chance to spend $1,500 plus tax for the glasses and attend a special pickup experience in New York. Deadline for applications is February 27th. Good luck. I'll see you next week. Okay, Glass, take a picture.